Hello, Suvi Lobos, Laverna, Texas, and I'm with Healthy Ins and Outs. It's the name of my channel. Thank you for visiting, and I hope you will subscribe and like if you haven't already. And I just wanted to come to you and um, show you my uh, pre-birthday gift from my husband. And this is a um, this is my first. It'll be my first time to to even try this. This is a, a mosaic uh, food chopper or food processor, and the reason uh, I chose this is because it ha it's uh, has a glass uh, container. It's five cups, which should be just perfect for my husband and myself, and it has two uh, titanium coated blades, which is another reason I chose this. I didn't realize until uh, um, upon receiving it and I saw the, the little manual. It's in English and German. So this is German made. <laughs> I didn't know that when I purchased it, but I, I'm, I was happy about that because I know those, uh, those products are well made. So we'll see how this turns out. This has a uh, rubber grippy on the bottom to hold it. I have it on, standing on a big cup <laughs> so you can see it. And I'm just going to, to start out. I have some red and yellow bell peppers and a red onion. I'm going to chop because I'm going to uh, saute it um, before adding other things to make uh, our soup for today. Uh, it's now in the autumn season and starting out in the 30s over here. So it's a chilly day, great day for soup. I have some healthy plant-based uh, cornbread made, and I have my um, um, vegetable broth that I made. Uh, by the way, I keep any cuttings for like the uh, onions, or in Espanol is cebolla, and also the little pepper ends and seeds. I keep those, any uh, vegetable cuttings I keep to make uh, a uh, vegetable broth. I don't buy vegetable broth in the store. At least I haven't in quite a long time. And oh, by the way, I uh, cooked some uh, acorn squash, side note, acorn squash in our Instapot and uh, I wondered about the seeds. You can eat any uh, <clears throat> any type of squash seeds. They're, they're edible and we like pumpkin seeds. So uh, I learned that you can actually microwave them. You don't even have to put them in the oven just for a few minutes. I put these uh, in the, the microwave and uh, well first while they were still wet I didn't have to add any oil. While they were still wet I um, ground some uh, Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt on them. They are delicious, nice and crispy. I'm one, I don't so much crave flavors and normally I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I want my chocolate. Uh, my craving is for crunch. So those those are a nice little crunch. Anyway, so with that, I'm going to see how this little thing works. This is, the, this is the motor, and it has a little pulsing thing on the top. And I know I'm not supposed to hold it down for longer than 15 seconds. So this is the top. And again, it has the two blades. They are detachable, so you can use just one if you want. And I have no idea. I've never used a food processor. I've used those little mini choppers before. I didn't really like them. So I'm just putting them in there like this. I hope it's the right way to do it. Because actually, uh, it's the only thing, the little manual was only about how to uh, take care of it. It doesn't give any um, actual chopping instructions. I guess they think you're supposed to know. <laughs> um, no recipes or anything like that. So that was the only thing <clears throat> that I was surprised about and not particularly happy about, but uh, I will learn as I go. So, okay, there we go. That's in there. It seems to be. I'm going to hold it even though it's on this little, it's a big cup. Let's see how it does. This one is raw. Don't want a puree. Oh, just a few pulses. Wow. That 
worked out very well. Uh, the two blades are supposed to do it um, more quicker, I think. I'm not for sure. But that's going to be perfect for sautéing. Look at that. So, I'm going to have to try. I'll have to get some garlic ready and try that, and I will show you. So, hang on. Okay, so now I have some very tiny, tiny garlic pieces. Uh, I don't know that this is going to do anything with them because they're so small, but we'll, let's check it out. Um, I do have some larger garlic, but I wanted to use this one up first. So, let me see. Whoops. I have the onion and peppers um, sauteing. Let's see how this does. It smells good. It actually does. <laughs> yeah, it's not a whole lot, but that's like six very tiny uh, garlic pieces <laughs> or cloves. <laughs> so uh, that is it for this test. It's a good. I guess it's a good first test. <laughs> And I think next time I'll try making some, uh, maybe some coleslaw or something like it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll put the link for this in the, the notes below. So, be blessed, be healthy, have a great day. Bye.